Hi everyone, this is Salim from Water Symbol Grass Drafting Department. Um, today I'm gonna show you how I place a coal or a bubble on any 3D view or wherever that you are not able to place a call out on your elevation wheels and you can do that right now. And so how I gonna um, do that is uh, I place uh, a call out or wheel call out inside a drafting wheel. So as you can see right now, I place the three, um, three call outs on top of my uh, elevations. It's a 3D elevations. So originally, uh, Revit doesn't allow you to place a wheel call out on your 3D wheels. Um, so you can see uh, I place a uh, this is my inside my WW drafting view. And this view is a real call out, so it's a linkable real call out. Uh, when you short plot it, and it will be a true call out that link to your detail sheet. So now I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that. So you go to view, drafting view. And right now I'm going, going to call it 3D. Okay, okay. So you don't need to care what size scale of your um, your drafting wheel. You go to call out, and I know what I'm gonna choose. So I just place in the existing detail call out. So I just leave it regular size. And now go back to my elevation sheet. So I'm not able to place in the uh, drafting wheel inside Revit wheel pot. So that's why I have to place on top of my sheet. That's my, that's the trick. So go to three. This is my drafting wheel I created just now. I just place on top of my sheet. And for the regular WW wheel pod, it has the title. So basically, you have to duplicate the existing one to a new type, and you change the properties inside. I already have one for myself, and I choose um, to be this one. And for you, you just go to edit type. So you already duplicate a new one, and change your title to be none. Okay, okay. And so, uh, for this view call out, you can change the call region. So you go to edit top. You can sketch the line to be wherever you want to be show like precisely the area inside your 3D. So, yep, this is my improvement. Hope you like this video. Thank you.